Well, let's stay with that story, the vote on the U.S. debt ceiling, which has been delayed. We can speak to Ron Haskins, who's a senior fellow in economic studies at the Brookings Institution in Washington. He joins us on the line now. What do you make of this delay? It shows that the Republicans are really digging their heels in. It certainly shows that. Uh, this is not unusual, though. Uh, often this kind of uh, shenanigans happens right up until a final vote. Uh, it appears that the Republicans do not now have the votes. The vote is already about three hours late. So it's not clear what would happen. Uh, and then even if it passes in the House, it will not pass in the Senate in its present form. So there will have to be negotiations between the House and the Senate. So there's still a long ways to go. So what happens now if they can't get the, ha the, the vote, if John Boehner can't get agreement, what happens? And why do you think this is happening? Are the Republicans really struggling to get this kind of agreement or are they trying to do more? Is this a political statement? Are they trying to damage President Obama? No, I don't think that's a part of it at all. Uh, Republicans, uh, especially the newly elected the so-called freshmen, uh, I think they want too much. They, would, they really would like to cut... $4 trillion in spending, they, and they don't want any taxes, uh, which uh, uh, until probably three days ago was the biggest issue. But Democrats have, have, uh, have capitulated on the tax issue. So the plan now has about a billion dollars, uh, I'm sorry, about a trillion dollars in savings, uh, and there are a faction of Republicans that want to have more than that. They think it's not a long-term solution, so they say they're not going to vote for it, and this means... And none of the Democrats are going to vote for it. So Republicans can only lose around 20 votes. And if they lose more than that, they can't pass it. And what happens if they do not meet this deadline? The Treasury is no doubt already looking at who they should pay and the, who they shouldn't. And, of course, you, you as a former congressional advisor on welfare issues, you know just how important it is that pensions get paid. Uh, very important. My guess is what will happen uh, if it went on for two months or three months, then a lot of people would not get paid. And it could even eventually get the people who are disabled, uh, maybe military people, certainly a lot of contractors with the government would not get paid. It will be up to the president and to the Treasury Department to decide who gets paid. The problem is real simple. We can spend any money that comes in. Uh, but we can't borrow any more money, and we will, are going to have more bills starting with the very first day than we have income from taxes. So we can't pay everything, and the president will have to decide who gets paid and who doesn't. Oh. We will certainly pay that. We will certainly pay the creditors. Anybody who loaned us money, I think we would at least pay them. Uh, and then after that, probably Social Security. But uh, eventually, a lot of people would lose payments. Ron Haskins from the Brookings Institution in Washington, thanks for your view on that delayed vote on the debt limit in the U.S. We will watch and uh, update you ex in whenever we find out what is happening there. We are, of course, watching it. But let's cross over now to RICO because there have been high-level talks between the U.S. and North Korea in New York.